hey, I understand that reference. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie quotes that only 2000s kids understand. For this list, we're honing in on the most iconic and relatable quotes from movies released after the year 2000. Well, that too, the law says that you cannot touch. But I think I see a lot of lawbreakers up in this house. Now. Number 10. If you can dodge a wrench, dodgeball a true underdog story. To save the business from going under, the guys at Average Joe's Gym found themselves forming a dodgeball team to raise funds. It seems simple enough until the group of grown men gets obliterated by a Girl Scout troop. Bollocks. Looking to strengthen their dodgeball prowess, the team is left in the hands of former champion Patches O'Houlihan, whose teaching methods are a little uncouth to say the least. The name's Patches O'Houlihan. I'm your new coach. Let's just say to stop the competing gym across the street from throwing a wrench in their plans, Patches did it first. Um, shouldn't we, like, learn by dodging balls that are thrown at us, or...? That's what this sack of wrenches is for. Subscribing to the idea that if you can dodge a heavy metal object, then you can easily dodge a rubber ball, their new coach's wisdom has been relayed many a time in pop culture. So remember, kids. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? Oh. Number 9. So it's not gonna be easy. The Notebook. Ah yes, one of the biggest tearjerkers of all time. We're not going to delve into why The Notebook is so heart-wrenching, but with the amount of coming and going, pushing and shoving in Noah and Allie's relationship, you just can't help but get invested. It wasn't over. It still isn't over. After yet another misunderstanding in their lovable mess of a relationship, a particularly irate Noah drops a memorable line that had everybody swooning. So it's not gonna be easy, it's gonna be really hard. And we're gonna have to work at this every day, but I wanna do that because I want you. I want all of you, forever, you and me. As Allie drives off in a hurry, we're left desperately hoping for the best. After all that they've been through, we couldn't help but think, Simple. What it's do you want? God damn it, what do you want? Number eight, help me, I'm poor, bridesmaids. If you've ever been on a girl's holiday or a bachelorette party, then you know that they can be unpredictable affairs. And there's usually one person that takes things a little too far. I have something. Take two, you'll fall asleep, wake up, and we'll be there. In this scene from Bridesmaids, that person is the maid of honor, Annie. Why don't you take my scotch? It'll just give the pill a little kick that it needs. Honestly, I do it all the time. After getting loopy on sedatives and alcohol, she wanders into first class and tries to get away with a freebie. And that's where this now legendary line comes from. Help me, I'm poor. It sucks not living the high life when others are, right? Well, if you ever want to sarcastically admit that someone has something that you don't because you can't afford it, there's no better way. You can close that, thank you. Number seven, I volunteer as tribute, The Hunger Games. <laughs> I volunteer! I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute! The Hunger Games is all about fighting for survival, and when Katniss Everdeen dropped this line, it taught us all a lot about self-sacrifice and love between siblings. <laughs> of course, since then, the internet has sucked any heartfelt severity out of that scene. The famous line has become popular amongst those who want to step forward for something that's less than appealing. Let's have a big hand for our very first volunteer, Katniss Everdeen. Whether that's raising your hand to be the designated driver for the evening, or volunteering to present first for a class assignment, may the odds be ever in your favor. Happy Hunger Games! And may the odds be ever in your favor. Number six, I'm kind of a big deal. Anchorman, the legend of Ron Burgundy. Ever met a self-obsessed egomaniac who thinks he's the most important person in the room at all times? If not, just watch Anchorman and the legend that is Ron Burgundy? Dang it, who put a question mark? I'm in a glass case of emotion! Ron has graced us with an abundance of memorable quotes in his time, but this one is arguably his best. I don't know how to put this, but... I'm kind of a big deal. Really? People know me. Well, I'm very happy for you. In an incredibly awkward attempt on wooing the girl with the absolutely breathtaking Heine, his words, You have an absolutely 
breathtaking. Heine. He needed to make sure that she knew that he is very important. For those who want to make it clear that they are the creme de la creme at something, but maybe don't want to say it outright, this quote is always a great go-to. I'm very important. Uh, I have many leather-bound books, and my apartment smells of rich mahogany. Number five. To me, you are perfect. Love Actually. I feel it in my fingers. In my fingers. I feel it in my toes. movies have taught us anything, it's that Christmas is a perfect time for confessions of love, even if it's done without saying a single word. Love Actually is one of the most popular Christmas movies ever, with multiple love stories intertwined with one another, and the story of Juliet and Mark is arguably the most surprising. Oh, hi. Who is it? It's carol singers! Well, give him a quid and tell him to bugger off. While this movie was chock full of grand displays of affection, Mark's message to Juliet definitely left an impression. Showing up at Juliet's doorstep with poster boards, Mark held one card up a tad longer than the others. Now, whether someone decides to quote this to someone they love or compliment an incredibly well-plated burrito is ultimately up to them. Number four, did we just become best friends? Step brothers. Finding a friend who is just as weird and unique as you are can be tough. But when you're meant for each other, you're meant for each other, right? Take Brennan and Dale, fully grown, immature adults living with their parents. Can you imagine if we had these when we were 12? Even better, we got them when we're 40. They hate each other until they discover they both have strangely similar interests. On the count of three, name your favorite dinosaur. Don't even think about it, just name it, ready? One, two, three. Three. Velociraptor. The best friend's line that follows has become a heavily used go-to quote for bros new and old. Especially when you find out that you both bond over something super specific. Like niche Chinese food, Ted Danson movies, or, you know, good housekeeping. Did we just become best friends? Yup! Do you want to go do karate in the garage? Yup! Number three. Smiling's my favorite. Elf. Speaking of Will Ferrell and friends, we've all got that one buddy who's always in high spirits and chirpy no matter what. And that's Elf, in a nutshell. Buddy the Elf is pretty much impossible to demoralize, especially when there's mention of Santa. Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town! Santa! And when he inadvertently starts working in a department store, his manager is quick to clock his overt enthusiasm. This is the North Pole. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Where's the snow? If you've ever been faced with a Scrooge who just doesn't understand why you're so happy all the time, chances are you fired back at them with this memorable line at least once. Why are you smiling like that? I just like to smile. Smiling's my favorite. Make work your favorite. That's your favorite, okay? Okay. Work is your new favorite. Number two, you're a wizard, Harry. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. It doesn't matter when you first watched Harry Potter. Its magically gripping story of an average boy who discovers he's a wizard is timeless and impossible not to love. To Potterheads out there, these words from Hagrid are something each of us hangs on to. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? A wizard and a thumping good in I'd wager. We're all waiting to hear it ourselves, receive our letter and be whisked away to Hogwarts. Of course, there's those who can't help themselves and exclaim the catchy line as a way to congratulate their own genius upon completing a seemingly impossible task. Like figuring out the TiVo box or getting that little DVD logo to hit the corner of the TV screen. To be fair, that second one is pretty magical. Oh! <laughs> My daily life involves putting Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone quotes where they don't belong. Sudden noise in my basement. Troll in the dungeon. See? Here are some other quotes every person and their dads still reference to this day before our number one does its thing. I'm enjoying a relationship with two men simultaneously. The first called Ben, the other Jerry. Number of current boyfriends, zero. I wish it could just be simple. Like a retro pop song. I want you to want me. Boom, end of story. We all live happily ever after. I'm my name is Borat. I like you. I like sex. It's nice. 
You're my boy, Blue! You're my boy. A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? You? A billion dollars. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Stop trying to make fetch happen. Mean Girls You either believe this is the best chick flick of all time, or you're wrong. It's simple math. The limit does not exist. The limit does not exist! Mean Girls gave us all someone to hate, root for, and relate to. It's the ultimate trip back through high school. Because being with the plastics was like being famous. The 2004 movie is absolutely littered with timeless quotes, from wearing pink on Wednesdays to Fall for you, Glen Coco! You go, Glen Coco! But our vote goes to Gretchen and her new slang that she's desperately trying to make happen. It's so fetch. What is fetch? Oh, it's like slang from England. Well, by that we mean our vote goes to Regina for shooting her down. Gretchen. Stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. But don't worry, Gretchen. Fetch totally caught on. Okay, that was so fetch. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.